qualify for the postseason, and despite a 25 and 7 run since August 18th, going into Atlanta Saturday, it appears they probably won't. They'll remember two dramatic games as the most painful reminders why. The first will be last Sunday at Shea, when Brian Jordan homered as part of a three run Atlanta ninth, then homered again in the 11th to win the game. Jordan, who hit 127 in the first 15 games against the Braves this season, was ready to repeat his starring role in Saturday's sequel. John Burkett starting for Atlanta, winless in his previous four starts. Top three, one nothing Braves. Edgardo Alfonso pops it up, and Burkett. Hey. <laughs> that would have been the third out. Inning stays alive. Alfonso would walk to load the bases for Mike Piazza. And he rips it to left. This is going to be off the wall. All three runs score on Piazza's 1500th career hit. So Burkett's failure to catch that pop-up costs Atlanta three runs. It's 3-1 Mets. Top six, 4-1 New York here. Mets with runners on first and second. Siyoshi Shinjo takes off for third. Javi Lopez the throw. And yes, it is in time. But Bobby Valentine begs to differ. He was eventually rung by third base ump Brian Gorman. But as we'll see here, that's not always a bad thing for the Mets. Take a look. New York this season, 4-0 when Valentine gets tossed. The last time, just a few days ago in Montreal, so perhaps this is a good Met omen. Bottom six Saturday. We go to Al Leiter now, facing Andrew Jones and Leiter dazzling. He went eight innings, allowed one run on four hits, struck out six, and left with a 5-1 lead. We flash back to last Sunday. The game we mentioned earlier, Leiter, was just as good. Struck out eight in eight before getting pulled. We compare those numbers to Saturday, and they're almost exactly the same. As you can see, a total of only seven hits allowed in 16 innings of work against the Braves by Al Leiter. Back to Saturday now. Bottom nine, it's Armando Benitez in to try and preserve the 5-1 lead. Remember, it was Benitez who couldn't hold the three-run lead in the ninth against Atlanta last Sunday. Javi Lopez, one-on-one -on -one out, singles to left. They wave Andrew Jones, and the Braves cut the deficit to 5-2. to two. Benitez shaky again here. Next batter, Dave Martinez with one out. This one is to second, and now Benitez only one out away. But remember, we've seen this before. We flash back to the ninth inning last Sunday at Shea. Benitez facing Brian Jordan, and he gives up the two-run shot with two outs to send the game into extra innings as Benitez blows the save at Shea. Back to Saturday now, facing rookie Marcus Giles. Two on, two out, and Giles yanks it to left. Shinjo with a shot, can't come up with a two-run score. Giles called it the most exciting moment I've ever had in baseball. And Benitez, again, cannot get it done in the clutch. He allowed five earned runs on Saturday. Braves down just 5-4 now. So they bring in Franco with two on. Jordan on deck. Franco walks Wes Helms to load the base. Jordan coming up. We go back to Sunday. His second home run. Top 11 off Jared Riggin. The difference in the Braves. 5-4 comeback win. Back to Saturday now. Jordan facing Franco. Bases loaded. Two out. Here's your ball game. The 0-2 pitch. Are you kidding me? Game-winning Granny in Jordan's last three games against the Mets. He's hitting 429, three homers, seven RBI. Franco said afterward, I wanted the pitch inside, but left it out. Braves come back and win 8-5, their biggest ninth inning comeback since a six-run ninth against the Red Sox in June of 98. Goodbye. He, of course, retired throughout the first pitch. Pat Burrow in the house. Pat Burrow out of the house. Homer number 25, and the Phil's off to a good start. 4-1 to as they need to win to stay two back of the Braves. Bottom seven now. Phil's lead is 5-4. Preston Wilson facing Jose Santiago, and Wilson grounds out with the bases loaded. Phil stay two back of the Braves. Many of the Phillies players and coaches silently watch the Braves Mets bottom of the ninth in the clubhouse before batting practice. Doug Lanville said, quote, it would have been nice if the Braves lost, but we're not in control of what the Braves do. Here we go. Top the NL West, hosting the Dodgers. Bottom two, Steve Finley. Right back to James Baldwin, but it gets away at third. Matt Williams will come in. Finley seven for 12 with 12 RBIs in the first five games of a nine-game homestand. Bottom six, Finley again. Say hello to my little friend. Three run shot is 13th. Baldwin tagged for seven runs, five earned in seven. Five nothing Arizona. Bottom seven now. This is Luis Gonzalez, and that's a home run. Is 55th. Two-run shot this after Gonzo hit the game winner in the 11th inning on Friday, and the Diamondbacks win 8-1. It's Arizona's fourth straight win. Our single-season home run record 
There he is, two shy of 70. Ricky, one run shy of Ty, Ty Cobb's all-time record of run score. Top of one, Ricky leading off the game. Russ Ortiz gets him to fly out to shallow center. Henderson stays, one run shy of Cobb's record. Bottom one, Barry has hit a career-high 62 homers against San Diego. More than any other team he's played, but not even close from Brett Jody. Walk 165, six more, and he breaks Babe Ruth's single-season walk record of 170. Back to Ricky in the third. Strikes out looking. Henderson still a run shy of Cobb. Still four hits shy of 3,000. Bottom four, Bonds again. Ooh, got a good pitch to hit there, and guess who he sends it to? Ricky. Snatch, catch me. Bond still with 68. Top of five, 1-1. One, one. Henderson facing Ortiz. Pops out to Jeff Kent. Henderson now 0 for 3. Bottom six, 68 plus 1 equals... Here's the 2-1 to Bond. Spalding get your foot off the boat. Charlie Steiner with the call on ESPN Radio, number 563. For Bonds, Ty and Reggie Jackson, 34 homers at Pac Bell, 35 on the road, 12th homer this month. He's slugging over 1,000 this month. Other chase of history is Ricky in the eighth. Against Felix Rodriguez, shallow center. Richard Lea going back. He can't make it. That's rule to hit. He's three away from 3,000. So Ricky's on first. He could score. And there's Ty Cobb. Next batter, D'Angelo Jimenez, strike three. Felix Rodriguez, 19 pitches, 14 strikes. ERA is 168 this year. Brian Klesko strikes out looking. Discards his gear. Bubba Trammell, the second. Inning over. So Ricky doesn't score. Bottom eight, very a chance to tie McGuire, and he hits it about 11 feet. Doesn't run it out hard to first, and he is thrown out. We're not done yet. We've seen two of the greatest players in baseball history. Here's another one, Tony Gwynn. What a day in San Francisco. Three of the best ever on a beautiful day, and look at J.T. Snow's beautiful play to rob Gwynn of a hit. But the fans still love Tony. They acknowledge him. What lead singer Chad Kroger is to Nickelback, Barry Bonds is to the Giants and baseball. 69 home runs, one to Ty McGuire, two to break the record. If that happens Sunday, it will be on ESPN. Coverage begins at 4.05 Eastern, 105 in the West. Seattle, shortstop Carlos Guillen quarantined after being diagnosed with pulmonary tuberculosis. His jersey hanging in his honor. Top first, Miguel Tejado off Jamie Moyer, who is going for his 20th win. It's off the wall, and it's a triple for Miguel Tejada. So the hard part is out of the way. Top three, Tejada facing Moyer again. And this is to center. That's a single. You get an idea where we're going with this here. <laughs> Bottom four, it's Ichiro facing Eric Hilius. Into center's 234th hit, breaking shoeless Joe Jackson's 90-year-old record for base hits by a rookie. Back to Tejada. In the sixth, to the right center gap. That's going to be good for a double. He's got the triple, he's got a single, he's got a double. Top seven, he comes up with the bases loaded, needing a home run for the cycle. No. And are you kidding me? Grand slam! See you later. Miguel Tejada, four for five, three runs, four RBI, and the cycle as the A's beat the M's 8-4. Broncos began the day, three games up on the Cardinals, eight on the Cubs, Fred McGriff. Two-run homer off Dave Malicki, 11th as a Cubs, 30th overall, another great year for Fred McGriff. Next pitch, Rondell White, will that cheese be for here or to go? Solo shot, White 16, 3-0 Cubs. Next pitch, Todd Hundley. Eighth time in Cub history. They go back to back to back. Moises Alou missed his fifth straight game because of a sore calf muscle. Cubs win 6-2. Astros record 15th win at home. Top four, Brian Giles to right center. Jim Edmonds, full extension. And he sticks the landing. End of the inning. Pittsburgh put two runners on in three straight innings, but Morris escaped every time. It's Rob McCowiak in the fifth and Giles in the sixth. Morris worked eight scoreless innings, allowed only five hits, struck out eight. Top nine, two out, tying run up. Gene Steck Schulte gets McCowiak to ground. To Fernando Vino makes a gorgeous play. Steck Schulte gets three outs for his sixth save. A tidy two-hour and four-minute game, 2 nothing.